Hi, so today we're going to talk about measuring body composition using the BOD pod. The BOD pod uses technology that we call air displacement plasmography. Um, if you're familiar with underwater weighing, which most people are, the idea of underwater weighing is it's measuring someone's body density um, based off of you know, submerging them in water and seeing how much water is displaced when their body is fully submerged. Skinfold calipers, for example, what they do is they predict someone's density. So skinfold calipers will pinch subcutaneous body fat and you'll predict their body density and then you'll put it in an equation. Well, the BOD pod is superior to that because instead of predicting density, we're actually measuring density. So we have Curtis with us today, he's our subject. What the BOD pod is measuring, instead of underwater weighing, which measure, measures water displacement, we're measuring air displacement. So anything that traps air can throw off our measurement. And that's why they have to wear um, a cap, like Curtis has a cap to cover his hair. For females, this is even more important because they have um, more hair, more volume could be trapped inside. The subject or the client is also asked to wear as minimal clothing as possible. And the clothing that they do wear, we don't want it to be a cotton type clothing. It should be more of a spandex, latex um, fabric that's not trapping clothing. Okay, so Curtis is prepared for the, the assessment. The first thing that we already did was we measured his body weight. If we want density, we need to know body weight and volume. So we already got body weight by having him step on a scale. And the, bot, the bot pod, what this does is it will now tell us Curtis's volume. So we'll go ahead and have Curtis get in the machine. And we'll shut the door. So we ask Curtis to stay still, um, to breathe normal, not to fidget around. So I'm going to go ahead and start the measurement. And what that, the machine is doing is the machine knew how much volume was in there without Curtis stepping in. And now that Curtis stepped in, it is now measuring the volume that is in there after he got in. So it knows how much he displaced. And that's how we get total volume. This machine requires us to take two assessments just to make sure that it's reliable. So we ask our subject just to be still and... All right, so we're going to do it one more time. So we'll open the door. And so we'll do one more measurement to make sure that, that they match each other. To prepare your, sub, or your client for the bod pod, for the most accurate measurement, you really want them to be fasted. Um, you want them to have not engaged in any physical activity for at least 24 hours before the measurement. All those different things can, can affect um, the, the prediction or the measurement of, of body density. All right, so that was the measurement of the bod pod. Curtis can, can get out. And now this is kind of nice. What it does is it will show us, it will give the readout of the percent body fat. So for Curtis, he was about 19% body fat. It will tell you, it will do the math for you as well to tell you how much of his body weight is lean tissue or uh, muscle and bone and how much is actually fat mass. It will also give an estimate of their resting energy expenditure. Um, this, it's not as accurate as actually measuring it, but it's a rough estimate. So that's the Bob Pod um, assessment.